What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I'm speaking in English because, well, you'll see why, okay, in all honesty. Now, as you can see on the screen right now, I'm currently logged into Red Edit, and I'm logged in this particular section of Red Edit, which is called Roast Me. Now, let me explain the concept here, okay? You submit a picture of yourself, and just a random, like, little title about you or something, you know, it's usually something just funny, and then the whole objective of the Red Edit is for people to come up with funny, and witty, but usually just crude, insults. So they basically just insult you, or whatever it is you mention about yourself, or you know, just anything. They just throw insults at you. And it's actually quite funny to read because you'll be like, you're, you're looking at it and you're like, wow, these guys are really let and loose. This is what people actually think, but they will never say. No, but, so I thought, you know, I'll submit myself. Now, as you can see, I'm just gonna put a picture right here. Yeah. And that's the picture I submitted. As you can see, I kind of look like a Darrow. Um, I pretty much picked the best picture of myself I could find. No, joking. That's probably the worst picture in the goddamn world. But I put that picture in there, and I just wanted to see what they would say. And, okay, just one sec. I'll just load up my profile. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's load this baby up. So, as you can see, I've titled it, I'm a fluent Esperanto speaker. Let's see if I've really heard it all. Okay, first one. Leaked photo of the Coneheads remake. <laughs> what? How is that? I guess I'm kind of going bald there, so I can understand that. I haven't heard of it, but I have heard of statutory rape. And it looks like you commit that on a daily basis. <laughs> That's awesome. The beady eyes of a child sex cult. <laughs> oh god, I think I've just given Esperanto a terrible name. You look like you make marriage. It's about the flesh of your victims. <laughs> I am evil dear. Come here and give me your flesh. This is the last thing his murder victims see. <laughs> what is the fall of murder? <laughs> Just because they projected Bill Shan's 1996 film Incubus on your gigantic fucking forehead and heart. <laughs> Revival Festival doesn't mean you speak as Brano. <laughs> Okay, so far it seems like it's all to do with my forehead and the rape type of thing. Um, your forehead is bigger than your future. Well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> I, I'm, that, that hurt. That really hurt, that one. <laughs> How does it feel to know you wasted your time learning a language that ended up being a failure? Serious question. Well, I'll answer that one later. But uh, that's just the standard. That's, I hear that on a daily basis. Nothing. You know you should opt for a divorce. What? What? I'm pretty sure in the rules here it says try and keep it witty. That's not witty. Okay. When minions grow hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you look like a least sex offender whose new anonymous housing location is accidentally next to Children's Park in a town with previously low crime rate. What is with all the sexual offender ones? I know it's a pretty good picture and all, but you should kneel down before an aeroplane crashes into your forehead. <laughs> okay, okay. Back off on the forehead insults. Were you pleased with Eric Stott's portrayal of you in the mask? Well, actually, I think he did a pretty good job. Uh, yeah, I'll give him about a 7 out of 10. The only thing separating you from the broad wall caricature of a human are a fascinating location and the fact people would pay you $10 for the cartoon. I don't know, someone explain that one to me. I, I, I don't know what that one goes on about. Do you rent out ad space on your forehead? <laughs> yes, yeah, bro, I tatted across my head. <laughs> yes. I... <laughs> Jeez, I mentioned Esperanto and I'm waiting for all the Esperanto insults, but it's just all about my freaking forehead. This is getting personal. I'm literally scared. <laughs> the common thing between you and Esperanto, the lack of culture. Ooh! Oh man, I want to go at him. That's... I'll give him that one. That was a pretty good call, but it's bullshit. We all know that, but that was a good call. The fact that you spent time learning Esperanto really speaks to your lack of social life. These guys got no idea. No idea. <laughs> I was going to say something else then that was not appropriate for this channel. But anyway, someone please explain how sad his life had to be for this guy to get so tired of masturbation that he decided to learn Esperanto. Because that's the alternative. <laughs> okay. So, I think that's pretty much it. Um, 
I didn't really see anything in there that was actually really targeted at Esperanto. There was like one or two in there. It was all about my freaking forehead and my receding hairline. What the fudge? And you know, that is the thing that annoys me the most, I'm like most fearful of, is slowly losing my entire hair. And it's just constant hair attacks related to freaking my forehead and ad space or whatever, but... <laughs> Oh god, there's some good ones in there. It's good to see that a few people have actually heard about Esperanto. I don't actually, maybe they haven't. Maybe they just went and Googled it and then wrote up insults, but that was good. I've been waiting to read that for about a day now. I've been holding myself back. But that's it. If you've liked this randomly stupid video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember, kids, stay away from me, because apparently, according to this, I'm on the sex offender list. And have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, I'll be stalking you down a dark alley. <laughs> and a massive shout out to all my Patreon fans. So, Jay-Z Knuckles has finally named herself properly as a sponsor. Um, we've got Sarah SC and Shane Power. So thanks guys. If you guys want to support my channel and just give me like a couple of dollars a month. Come on, give me a dollar. Give me a dollar, man. Can't you see I'm a sex...